What's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the Gamecom and we are playing some more Galactic Civilization 3. We're continuing with our Arcane Empire and this start is going a lot better for us. There's a couple things that, you know, having had a couple days to think about it and also playing a little more on the live stream and getting some comments from you guys. I'm learning some different things and so I kind of want to shift a little bit of what we're doing. Number one, I am not a huge fan of this starbase, this smack dab in the middle of our territory. We do have have another star base no 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 where is we have a constructor and erector going right here which is going to allow us to get both of these ascension crystals and the economic relic which is awesome i think i want to actually put a cultural star base up here so we can push against this guy the other thing is he's also going up here so we may want to throw another cultural star base up there as well this is our spotter I would like to actually see if there's anything worth colonizing up in those three planets, uh, those three star systems. So right now I'm actually building a payload. I think I'm gonna actually flip you to the Erector and I'm gonna want the Erector knocked out quickly because we're gonna wanna get some culture because I want to solidify my borders a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next turn. How many planets do we actually have? One, two, three, four, it looks like. Uh, well, okay, so we just got five. So that's what happened. So most content planets, Altaria is actually number one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our people like us, at least on our home planet. Actually, that's Archaea. Never mind. Oh, oh, Altaria is these guys. Yeah, no, yeah, no, our people aren't happy with us. <laughs> yeah, our people aren't happy with us at all. So we're doing diplomacy right now, which is going to give us interstellar governance. Like, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we're doing diplomacy, and then that's going to lead to stellar monarchy is that what we're trying to rush out right now or are we trying to do the interstellar republic government because we're actually working on this right now interstellar republic government is that what we're going for we need to get to our second we can change in two turns um yeah we haven't unlocked any of these governments yet so we're looking at the interstellar republic which does give me a research bonus, which isn't bad. It also gives me more trade routes and then gives me the Prime Minister Starship. I think I did this in the live stream. It's not a bad one. I don't mind it. Um, the media civilization. This is the one that I've been doing a lot. I think I could do that. Can you declare war? You can't declare a war because it's bureaucracy. Eh, eh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So what do we have over here? We have a space constructor and then we're getting a little bit of money. Our income is hot trash right now. So this approve uh, this gives plus one level to approval. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start popping out factories. Yeah, one thing I have, uh, one of the comments mentioned that I need to start building more factories because I can always change factories later. But the more factories I have early on, then the quicker I build buildings. So as I'm replacing them, it goes by a lot quicker, which actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, he is throwing some uh, trader ships around. So trade secrets. One of our traders has been approached by representatives from Association of Black Market. So uh, we will lose a little bit of research because we want the pragmatic and we'll also get the trade income. which is going to get us the next tier. So I was actually wondering about that, if we were good to get the next tier. So pragmatic, let's see, what do we have? All we have right now is the three fr free three constructor. So now we can grab a free freighter and trade license. No one will declare war on us or our shipyards operate at 100% at twice the distance from your colonies. So basically we can potentially get shipyards um, that uh, uh, are working through two planets, um, maybe even more than that. I don't really like any of these. What are, what's the next? So improve relations with all, all trade incomes increased, or anyone at war with us receives negative 25% to approval. Eh. Our star bases is nice. Star base range might be nice. Let's go ahead and grab the free freighter. And that's gonna hopefully help with my money. Um, speaking of which, you are being affected by both. It's within one, two, three, four. So yeah, you are being affected by both. Where's our other trade? You're up here, so we're not going to be able to get any. We do want to build probably a starship between these two guys. A star base. Or, sorry, a shipyard. Jeez. Yeah, we're going to colonize it. So, this planet was home to a fairly advanced alien species that created some long-lasting sub-sentient AI systems. Something you've done triggered these systems' defensive protocols, and now anyone who ventures outside the colony is at risk of being attacked from primitive robotic creatures. So, let's not be bashful here. Their pesting can be treated as such. Kill all the robots and feast on their innards. Gives us research and manufacturing. That's actually wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Plus two to all construction. Freaking heck yeah, man. 
Heck yeah. And then this one also gives me ship construction. Oh, this is a great planet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like you a lot. Uh, okay, so we want space elevator first. And then we can probably just, like, make plans already. Do something like that. And was there adjacency? Yes. So then we want to put the starport right here. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, so... Um, what are you currently working on? You're building a couple factories. I think actually, hold up, build the shipyard first. I don't know why I can't do it that way. But yeah, build the shipyard first because that's gonna help Ishta. Ishta is gonna be, be able to immediately put production towards it. We need to get another constructor up there. So uh, hopefully in a couple turns, we'll be able to take care of that. You are a trade ship. Yes, you are also a trade ship. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. You're a constructor, you are moving up. I don't like how long it's taking you to get over there. It's my only concern. <laughs> I'm worried about someone ninjaing it. Oh, hi. We just met someone else up here. Is that where you are? That is where our bug friends are at. Hmm. Interesting. There is a planet here for us. And he didn't actually colonize it. <gasps> we don't have any other colony ships, do we? No. Could we? Maybe? Seven turns? I mean, what are the odds that they're not going to grab it before me? Because it's going to take seven turns. We're actually, we could totally own his planet. So, I mean, what are the odds that he can't build a shipyard and send a ship over here? Obviously, we could declare war on him. Does he like me? He does like me. You proclaim friendship with us. We have opposing ideologies. You declaim friendship with us. You're skilled with diplomacy. Eh... The other thing I could do is if we get a constructor ship, we can go grab you. But the problem is I don't have income right now. Mmm, this sucks. I need income. The only way for us to get income is to use you to start grabbing some of these uh, space junks. So, you know, I'm going to send you back at the capsule. Hopefully you can make a little bit of money. We might take that constructor ship that we're popping out and put them up there. Because this we can do a little bit later. Uh, I mean, I, I suppose that might be the maybe our best option. We're going to send you up there. Uh, I want to look here. How many trade routes do we have? We have four of four available. So this is going to be three of four. Uh, hopefully with all these trade ships, we're going to be able to get a little bit more money. The other thing I should take a quick look at is what are our citizens doing? We have Lord Virga. You are an entrepreneur. Are you on a planet? I think you are applied to a planet right now, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, it'll ship our constructor. I don't know where the second resource is that you claim to have. So we're trying to find it because it has two resources around us. So I would like to make sure that we're able to grab both <laughs> resources when we throw down our star base. I think I will throw it down there. So this was Usoria, which just finished a trade ship. I'm gonna go with the backbone. Or should I go with an erector? The erector takes a little more time, so let's throw down the backbone for now. But if you're within my borders, the only concern is this is like his capital, is it not, Thalia? Is there a way to see what their capital is? I think it says, yeah, civilization's capital. So it's gonna have a lot of influence. So even putting an influence starbase there, I don't know we're gonna be able to push against his capital. I think having the planet which is also getting 10% influence and morale might actually, plus the influence from the starbase, might actually be enough. Might, might. I do need these ascension crystals. This is, I think, far more imperative though than grabbing that planet. I think now we're gonna we're, we'll we'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, 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 the colony ship. We'll try it. We'll try it. So we have another trade ship now available. I think we're gonna send you over to these guys. The question is, what is your home system? I think it's over here is what it looks like because we've got pretty big borders over there. And is this this is my culture? Oh, yeah, this is the planet we flipped. So theoretically, the people on this planet actually aren't our people, <laughs> which is funny. We're working on money and we're working on approval. Uh, the snugglers actually allow you get uh, to get a wonder. But I don't think we have that tech unlocked yet. You want 
two techs and you want me to basically give you a bunch of stuff. I don't think so. One of the things that people mentioned was, hey, don't trade techs early on uh, because it's better when you have more techs to trade off. However, our research rank isn't bad. So, yeah, yeah. I don't want to trade away all our techs right now. I need money. I need money. I desperately need money. I mean, we could always trade away our resources for techs. But see, that doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Like, hey, here's a resource that we're mining that you can have permanently to give me a tech that in, you know, 10 years I can research in like five seconds. That doesn't really make sense. But I do see like, uh, um, I can't understand researching uh, trading techs for techs might not be the worst thing. Okay, so there we go. Are we just going to build you here? Let's build you a little bit closer. Yeah, sure, we'll go here. Command. Construct star base. Do a mining ring. Give me a boost. And the archaeology gives me relic ascension and maintenance. No, I don't need that. So just give me the Prometheans for now. I like you. And we'll go next turn. How long until you're done? Three turns. No, you just picked, popped it out. Okay. I need you up here. Go. God, I need better engines on these guys. 11 freaking turns. Iridium has changed its government to a colonial government. Okay, we need to switch our government, which we're going to be able to do next turn, which is going to be good. This is our trader out. Sweet. This is our other trader. Oh, God, they need better engines, too. Yeah, I almost feel like you should just put traders with as quick of engines as possible, just so you can get those trader outs knocked out pretty quick. So we got 15% diplomacy and experience points. Well, that was unhelpful. <laughs> yeah, that was that was extremely unhelpful. But thank you. Thank you for trying. I'm trying to get money from these guys. Uh, okay, so we are within range of both of these. So we will go ahead and build the starbase. And I want the archaeology lab. Does the economic ring help me if it's not near a planet? My thought is probably not. Hold up, we're gonna Google this if I can. Uh, my phone's in the way. Uh, economic ring. Uh, what is this? Galactic Civ Three. The economic is in broad terms. Da da da. Economic wheel. See, I almost want the wiki on this. Starbases. Yeah, let's look here. Basic starbase, creating, deploying, upgrading, starbase types, culture, mining, military, economic. This is the most common type of starbase. Economic modules provide colony boosts for factories, laboratories, wealth buildings, approved buildings, and trade. All these modules may be added to the same starbase. It should be immediately apparent that if a colony or colonies are being supported, uh, of course, whether it specializes trade modules or trade station, approval buildings, da da da. So for, I, it sounds as if that doesn't help me because we're not near a colony. I mean, we kind of are near a colony. Actually, we are in near a colony. Yeah. And we're doing research here. It gives me more production as well. The culture helps me increase my culture, which would actually do what we we're trying to do here and push against the star base. Hmm, this is a tough one. Do we really need production here? Kind of? Ooh, no income. I'm gonna do culture. I'm gonna do culture for now. We need more duranium. I need this duranium. Do we have duranium up here? We do. Do we have any other duranium? Is this, we have a star base working, right? Yes, can we boost you? We need a duranium for that. So I need one duranium so I can boost you so I can start making more duranium. Uh, other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change our government. Give me an interstellar republic, please. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's going to make our people a lot happier. Wait, we didn't actually switch it. I've done this before. You have to actually double click it. <laughs> yes. Just clicking on it doesn't actually change the government. Okay, so now we have access to the market, so we can actually just buy Duranium for 475. Um, we don't have enough money because we are we are hemorrhaging money at this point. Wow, okay. I need I need money really badly. Hi, choose new tech. Uh, I just need something that's going to give me a lot more money. So, Xenu Economics, I suppose. 
This gives me more trade licenses. It allows me to also go for the banking. Uh, is there anything else that's going to give me more money? Air cell government just gives me more administrators, which is helpful. I think we should knock that out and then maybe come back here to interstellar governments. Governance. Yeah, yeah. What happens if you're out of money? <laughs> That's a good question. I have no idea what happens if you're out of money. So let's see, what do you do? Uh, you provide 30% to all construction, influence, and morale. I think we're going to take you over here to Ishta. Influence, construction, and morale. And the whole idea is, once again, we're trying to push against you. So for now, I think that's going to be okay. Uh, I would really like for you to give me something like money. We have another cultural relic over here. Okay. We don't want, what? What? Uh, what? Hold, hold up. Hold up. We did build the Zeno, right? Yeah. The Ascension Crystal. Zeno Archaeology Lab. Okay. So we are. Whoa, no, 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 no. I want it done. So we should be able to work this. But I don't think that's going to actually make me more money. Uh, he's mad at me. Wait, wait, wait. No, we found them. Never mind. I thought he was mad at me because I started doing that. So our, our warning, we're losing money. Oh, yeah, we can bump up taxes. Gotcha. Uh, go ahead and come from Archaea right now. Yeah, I forgot we can actually bump this up. Do we? Uh, the problem is our people are going to be very unhappy with us. So we can go up to like 50%. So if we come all the way up to 79%, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, our happiness is at zero. <laughs> uh, we'll do 20%, uh, 23, I can't afford that. 64% happiness. I need more wealth. I actually don't want the influence people. When are we gonna get our next citizen? That's what I really need to know. Hi. Two weeks, okay. So that's going to give me potentially 30% uh, more income, which is hopefully going to be good for us. We're going to take you over here. I need really for you to go find more money. Um, but I'm still trying to honestly protect that planet. Who else do we have? What other ships do we have right now? Do we have anyone? Uh, no, we don't have any other ships that can do anything. Hopefully with a couple of trade routes, we're going to be okay as well. Um, I should probably keep popping out payloads. I'd love to pop out more erectors, but we need administrators. But I can't really do anything about the administrators right now because we're in an awkward spot. I don't want to build probably anything. We could also do treasure hunt, which might make me money. No, no, no. We're going to go with this. I could, this is, this is a good point. I could actually trade tech. Wow. You are terrible. Like that is absolutely a terrible trade for us. What about you? Can we trade something? <laughs> Please just like, like all three techs for something that's two turns. Why are people not wanting to trade with me? It's actually a really good question. Like, this is two turns. This is a four turn thing. Oi. How much money would you give me for this? 20 gold. 20 gold for a single Promethean. What the heck, man? This makes me a little mad with how bad their trades are for us. Like, I can give him four for one for a freaking two turn. That is ridiculous. Ugh. So, we're not gonna. I mean, worst case scenario, I guess we're gonna have to start trading some stuff away for like 20 gold at a time. So, we actually finished another support. Let us get you going. Where'd you go? Let's actually get you going over here. I'm trying knocking this one out really quickly since you're right there. Uh, where are the rest of our trade ships? God, we're still like 20 turns away. Okay, move, 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 move. Our borders are actually getting pushed really hard right here. We got a micromanager achievement. What does that one do? So change your tax slider for one turn. Woo. <laughs> he wants to trade. I, really, dude? So yeah, no, I'm hemorrhaging money and you want me to trade away all my money. Just because you're stupid. and Like, this pisses me off.
I might have to actually do this. It's getting to the point where we might have to actually do this. Now, next turn, we are going to get another uh, dude. So that's good. Col colony ship. Let's put you on one. Good to meet you. You'll be hearing from us soon. Hopefully, you're not going to be so terrible when it comes to... Oh, I should have loaded out... Um, ejected him myself but actually now that works that works that works did we lose money because of him i don't think so so hey hey i need entrepreneur because i need money yep yep and i think we're going to immediately apply you to our capital again because that's the only planet actually making anything so we're going to add another citizen here and so now we're making 41 so we're at negative 19 which is you know terrible but not super terrible <laughs> uh, we're running out of money quickly I'm gonna send you on a treasure hunt it's a specialty ship prototype runner we already have so many frigates or uh, so many trade ships I don't think we can uh, build anymore four or four we have two three four out right now we have one two three four out already so I don't particularly want to build another one then I mean, we can have them there just as a uh, excellent uh, as an extra. Let's just do freaking treasure hunt, and hopefully, in 43 turns, we'll be able to make some money. I mean, the problem is I need more money before the 43 turns, but we'll see. Uh, choose solar systems to explore. How to colonize? Sweet, sweet people that might actually trade with me. Hi, I need money. You don't have money. Hi. I want money. You actually have some money. 320 gold. Okay. Okay. So we'll get lasers. We're going to give him diplomacy. We're going to give him three turns. This is actually a really terrible deal, I think, in the scheme of things. But it's going to give me 320 gold, which is going to stop our hemorrhaging for a little bit so from that case i think i'm okay with this we also just got more trade licenses oh snap okay i forgot we were researching that so we can do banking or get even more trade licenses but i think instead we're going to come down here and grab more administrators so we have more trade you're doing payloads that was our cap no where is you uh, give me payloads instead. Forget the trade hunt. Cool. Get me trade routes. And they already colonized it. Okay, well, that sucks. Mmm. Dang it. Dang it, and dang it. Where did our constructor ship go, too, by the way? You're still building our constructor ship. Ouch. So it seems unlikely that we're actually going to be able to flip you. I wonder if maybe we should go for the cultural arc uh, uh, relic over here instead. Are you a trade ship? Yes. Okay, that's good. So then maybe there is a planet over here worth colonizing. Maybe over here. We'll see. We'll send you out. Any chance you have to actually get uh, money, we probably want to send you to go get money. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to waste some turns grabbing all that stuff. Okay, so we can pop up more payloads for the time being. That's fine. We have an idle ship. That's a payload. Wait, I had one more constructor ship. Where did he go? That's a colony ship. Payload, where are you at? Oh, you're actually still already headed over there. You know what? I'm gonna send you over here then instead. And your goal is gonna be to grab all the space junk. So we're fifth in research, so we're not terrible in research now, uh, which is wonderful. Uh, we saw Earth was coming from over here, so sure, we'll send a trader out over in that direction as well. What are you? You are a payload. Boom, we got our first trader out. Heck yeah. So that helped me. That knocked out like two gold So from our deficit, which sure, sure, sure. I mean, six trader outs, negative or two gold for six trader outs. That's like, you know, 12 gold. You know, that's that's manageable. You gain 21 treasury. Terrible. 40 treasury. Slightly less terrible. 15% on our tech. I will take that. I can't pass up all that space junk there. That's really good. Then you want to trade me. You want an Illyrium and logistics for a bunch of other crap. For money and... No. No. I can't trade you money. I'm sorry. Logistics, colonial engineering. 
Actually, being able to settle on Extreme Worlds would be really good for us right now. You have credits. I hate this, but I think we're going to do it. You will not... Okay, I think I think we're gonna do it because Can we do this? I think we can now. There were two worlds we couldn't settle on before, but now we can. So this is a class nine. This is a class thirteen. So our colony ship, we want you to go settle our class thirteen now. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, that'll make up for it. We do want to get this class nine, so I probably want to build another colony ship here after the payload. Uh, unfortunately, I need more administrators, uh, which we're going to have in two turns. So, hey, yeah, there you go. There you go. Probably need to wrap this episode up, right? We're at 26 minutes. So, cool. You keep grabbing all this crap. How did we miss you? How did we miss that capsule? I don't know. Uh, a little more treasury. And we'll be able to grab both of those next turn. We just finished our interstellar. Governance. Okay. So we can do political or we can do diplomatic or we can do xenoarchaeology, which allows me to do an uh, ancient study center. You know what? Maybe we'll go with the ascension playthrough. In which case, I need another erector over here. Speaking of which, where is my erector? I always lose him. We're gonna go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab that cultural relic. We're gonna switch up. I'm not giving you that much money, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, you can give me more growth. I'd actually like something that gives me happiness. Uh, since you don't have anything that's gonna give me happiness, I don't really care. We're at 60%, which, you know, sure. When's our next election? 13 turns. So we have 13 turns to make ourselves happy. So if we lowered our tax rate like the day before the election and then bumped it up the day after the election, <laughs> how would that go for us? I don't know. Go back to Archaea. Uh, our research is now second? What? Our military is 12th. Okay, so we need to start building some military ships. I just can't afford them. <laughs> uh, backbone, please. Colony ship. Shipyard idle. Uh, build me another Erector. And then we have an idle ship. This is... Another trade ship. Can we send you over here? This must just be like a minor civilization or something, which I didn't know they actually had these in the game. Uh, cause he's just sitting there and there's nothing about him. So he's immune to cultural flips, so eventually we'd have to go conquer him. If we were gonna go conquer him. Um, speaking of conquering, people are probably... He's mad because we're trying to flip his planet. Yeah, that happens. Actually, no one says we're ripe for conquest. That's good. That was happening with my uh, live stream campaign. Is they're like, hey, you're ripe for conquest. And I'm like, uh, yeah, about that. So we can do diplomacy bonus plus one. Moves plus one would be great. Entertainment center. Influence growth. Will you give me some money? I like the idea, uh, the idea of getting plus one influence growth just across the board and getting the entertainment centers. We'll give him lasers, we'll give him a different government, and we'll give him some economics. And we'll make a little bit of money out of it. So I think I'm cool with that. Oh, phone, shut up. All right, uh, idle ship. Let's see, we have the support payload. So we want to send you somewhere to make me more money. I think let's send you over here as well. Um, we're pretty sure that both uh, humans are to our right, so I think we're okay with that. And with that, I think we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later.